I'm Groove Sam. I am back. We are on board the Unreliable, which is docked at the Cascadia Landing Bay on Monarch, which is not too far from Stellar Bay. Let's say Parvati and Ellie this time. Although I do like Sam. Hmm, let me think. Sam is a happy-go-lucky robot. To him, he's just making the world a cleaner place. That's what he lives for. And he shares his joy with everyone around him. So, yeah, he's... He's a fun companion, but uh, I'm not going to bring him, despite all that. Uh, Miss Ellie, sell some or, uh, Dr. Finhill, I notice your pistol's been making a funny noise. What are you talking about? I oil it every night. Well, look here. Your slide's not recording they should fully. look at each other when they talk. Spring. I could take a look, maybe fix it for you. Uh, sure. I'm short on bits at the moment, but I'll pay you back. Oh, no. I mean, it don't cost nothing. I got a spare spring in my pocket here, even. Everything's got a price. <laughs> okay. I'm going to sell some stuff. I believe I can sell. I got to... Yeah, okay. Uh, sell that compass. Okay. Sell that. And then... uh. Actually, I should have stored these. Uh, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. We. Okay. Uh huh. And Saltuna in brine. Saltuna of the deep. Saltuna chunks packed in real seawater brine may contain additional ingredients at no extra charge. Meat base health 25%. Last two minutes. Mm -mm. Purple Berry Lunch. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, how's he selling all that stuff? I mean, you know, he could use that. Well, if I was playing on Supernova difficulty, yeah, I'd, I'd keep most of it. Absolutely. I need bits. 
and I need inventory space. Playing on normal as I am is not as imperative to maintain a stock of consumables as it would be on supernova difficulty. You see? So I can afford, if you will, I can afford to sell them. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Young thing. I said, do you understand? You go, why are you selling those moths? Well, we come across moths and they're quite often, so. I mean, why not? You know, they're worth something. I need bits. There you go. All right? <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, oh, and I need space. See, that's, 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 that's another reason. You don't sell it. Uh, uh, there. Uh, now, uh, yeah. Uh, it's worth 66? Really? Shit. Six bits. Now this is a pro toss ball stick. I'm just gonna sell it. All right. Okay. Sell and sell. I need all the ammo to get. Alrighty. Sweetheart cake. Yeah, we need that. That was actually a side quest. This is part of a... Uh, it's for, for Parvati. So she can... Uh, <laughs> uh, entice... Further entice, I should say. June Lee Tennyson. Uh, they... They... They're very... Uh, attracted to each other. Sealed? What in the hell? Uh, how am I going to get there? Edgewater don't end up like this. You take us to the nicest places, Captain. Donado. I'm just happy those <laughs> I 
Magic Queens and uh, the other critters don't repopulate over here because there are a lot of them I had to kill. Uh, apparently, there's no way to get in there at the moment. I think that's what I needed the nav key for. I don't know. Um, I thought the nav key was to get me into Stellar Bay. I, I, I found another way to get in there, and that's just to... I, I, I walked all the way from here. See. It's that casserole. That's in uh, Stellar Bay. Uh, it's 1,200 meters away. Look on the map. That's where, that's where I started. I went around this way. Went through the sulfur pits. This way. Across the bridge. Across that bridge. And it ends at Stellar Bay. In between here and there were a lot of Manta Queens and Raptodons. So I had to, I had to kind of circumnavigate the sulfur pits. I had to head, head down this way a little bit and then back. Uh, fortunately, I was able to stealth. I didn't have to get in any f fights. Uh, <clears throat> was able to avoid. And, and the thing is, they, they Vicar and v Vicar Max and uh, Felix. They, I have aggressive. I have all the. Come to think of it, they can upgrade. Plus, I just want to see what. Distance close. Okay. All right. And uh, she can upgrade. Or she's ready for an, another, per, uh, another perk. Increase this companion's base armor. Yeah, let's do that. That's the way to go. with her she already has a Yeah, so can't get in there. Just gonna fast travel. Yeah, but uh, the my my AI companions, you know, they they were just they're all set on aggressive because that's the only way I can ensure they'll actually attack. You know, otherwise, if I'm caught in a fight, like they'll be if I if they're set on defensive, they won't 
do shit until I specifically give them the command to attack. Well, I'll be so, like, sort of preoccupied with trying to survive myself. I don't always think, okay, well, I better have, make, make sure they attack somebody. I mean, that's one of the, one of the f flaws of the game. You take real good care of your pistol, Dr. Fenhill. I oughta. It's kept me alive this long. I mean, you treat it nice. Makes me happy to see, because I feel the same way about my wrench. Look, it's a tool that does a job. Feelings got nothing to do with it. <laughs> man, man. Okay, what, what was I saying? Uh, okay, so... Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Went over there. Oh, that's right. Uh, Dustback casserole. Yeah, I found the chef, but he needs something. Everybody needs something. You know, that's just the way it is. Uh, purchase. Yeah, from Chef Raymond. He can't sell me. Let's let's go talk to him. You know, because I. I think this is one of the things that I may have done. Uh, and overwrote. I see you stuck around. Is that? Oh, that's right. He needs 3,000. This is the dude that wants 3,000 bit, uh, beat. 3,000 bits. Why did you decide to stay? If you got the bits, check the menu for the latest prices. Inflation's terrible out here. Yeah, three, two. Yeah. Sure, this is the dude that needs his 3,000 bits, right. Okay, well, I'm on. Lucky you. Guess you're gonna have to wait on that, Parvati. Because I can't help you. at the moment. Oh, wait, where is that? Is it? It is a long ways. Don't have any fast travel points to open up uh, down there either, so it's going to have to wait. do that oh that's right yeah let's follow up on the Braxton deal with Velma do that first this I'm gonna hold off on it's part of the main story Sounds like wrapped in here. Oh, it does work. I bought some musk from Sebastian to cover up the salt. Uh, 
I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Gosh, this old girl's in a rough way. Even old Bess in Edgewater was in better shape than this. Hey, you want to try running a cannery with obsolete machinery? You be my guest. Um, sorry ma'am, I wasn't trying to be rude, it's just... Your flanging apparatus isn't making a strong flange, so your sealer isn't sealing right, and... Oh. I see what you're saying. Huh. I'll have to try that. Anyway, what do you folks need? I'm confused. Okay, I've got some bad news about Braxton. That he's got his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift? Uh, no, he... he, he was dinner for someone. That's... Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. Cheer up. Maybe now you can hire someone better. Uh, that's the right way to go. That's it. Yeah. I wouldn't wish that on Catherine herself. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Something else on your mind? What's this about your foreman? Caleb Herrick. Runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. Uh, wait. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. So, surely you can make them come back. Why don't you just pay them more? Because we've got a budget, all right? And in case you haven't noticed, MSI doesn't exactly have a lot of spare bits on hand. Well, uh, I could talk to him. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the Yacht Club. He's usually there. I'll talk to you. Stealing's such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterobiotics we use for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton shifts. Oh my God. We're not I like keep, those corporate towns covering. where you get fined for sleeping I, I wish on the wrong side of bed. I wish they would eliminate some of these questions Besides, that you've already the covered. Besides, choice you know? stuff we use is cheap enough. God damn it. And Braxton knows how to get the saltuna, fat and mostly tumor free. Or keep repeating the same shit. Let's go. Fuck you. Later. Okay, what, uh, there, was, there was something I, I said, hey, I need to uh, beef that up, and I can't remember. Because cause it's been a while, and uh, done so much in between. The Reaper gain some tactical time dilation meter when you kill an enemy. Did I not already unlock that? I thought I had. <coughs> All 
Alrighty then. Don't let the sun go down on me. Do I search myself? So it's someone else I see. Get Nyoka's medicine from the MSI dispensary. Ri -ri -ri -ri. Uh, convince Caleb to return to work. Why would I want to do that? like a shitty place to work. Tell you the damn truth, some bitch. Don't bite the sun. The empty man. Track down Reginald uh, Ginogel. That's how it's pronounced. Look for signs of Mr. Piquet. Salvager in the sky. It says speak with with uh wait, no. It says speak with Lilia. I, I've already spoken with her, yet it's not Updating that. I don't know why. I just, I just don't know, man. All right, let's go. Jesus. Let's investigate. 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 Now that song's running through my mind. It works. We're, we're, we're at the Yacht Club. I might as well come in here and talk to Caleb. Where's he at? Where you at, Caleb? Caleb? Caleb. You sure have seen a lot of the colony, huh, Dr. Fenhill? Allie. And sure, but most of it looks the same from inside a ship. Sorry, Dr. Ellie. It's still though. Don't you find it thrilling? Being in space? Look, it's just Ellie. Uh, who is this guy? Caleb. That's Caleb. this guy well hey Caleb uh, how you doing there bud you, face, you, huh? you from off world <sighs> yep Captain Derp Schmerp of the unreliable a ship captain well I'll be here let me buy you a drink consider it an MSI welcome why don't you oh, grab a shit. chair Sit a spell and revel with us. I got a feeling he's gonna want to join the crew. He's been reveling enough for you both already. So what are you celebrating? Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered. Oh, good for you. Free responsibility and worldly cares. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. But until right. the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. What could be so bad it made you walk off the job? It ain't any one thing but the sum of it all, having to work longer shifts for less bits. And the wages uh -huh. we do earn don't cover as much as they used to. Oh, I see. Our supervisor, Velma, goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quotas. But that ain't well, what that sounds like promised her. us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. I got you. We won't go you. back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. Us on Monarch. Right. We're free from the board, you know? We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. Hell yeah. Uh, we need to talk about Velma. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? <laughs> I'm not going to lie to him. Sorry. 
How long can you afford to miss work? Any suggestions for how to put pressure on Velma? Nope. I'm calling her bluff. If she wants to threaten us, we'll see how she likes it when Sanjar finds out she gave Sublight even more dominion in Stellar Bay. Ah, uh -huh. that's good. Well, any suggestions then? If I knew that, I'd have tried it. Talking reasonably got me nowhere. Maybe you'll fare better. Yeah, the but... The others wanted to blackmail her. But we're above that. Besides, no, them no, are just no. rumors. We got no proof they're true. What? Wait. What, what's this about? Blackmail? Uh, black, blackmail. Blackmail now? I would never... Blackmail now? ...to her tactic, you know? But, <laughs> well, there's rumors that <laughs> Belma's taking a cut of the profits. So far, it's just gossip, you know? But if there was any oh. proof to be had, it'd be in the Saltuna warehouse, I reckon. Yeah. All right, well, I'll talk to you later. I mean, hey, I'm, I, I, I gotta, I gotta sign, or s sign up and side with the working, the working stiff, you know? God knows we get screwed hard as it is. Resident, huh? You don't look like Sublight. Must be freelance. You know, I get that a lot. Okay, let's see what we unraveled. been skimming money out of the warehouse accounts. If he can find proof, he can use that as leverage. You know what? I'm going to help him. So, all we have to do is get into the warehouse. Without nice raising any alarms we need all sorts or suspect. Sure. Best part is when they pay us. Excuse me. Pardon we me. never really had new folks in Excuse me. Except the captain. Pardon me. Kind of hard to make new friends when everyone's already decided they don't like you. Could be a favor in disguise. A lot of people out here ain't that nice. Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell, and revel with us? Now, why why is it pointing me back here? I, I I want to get some proof for him. What are so, the chances of all the times and places we could have been born? Yeah. We're here. Right so I need to go in the warehouse, which is Christ. Which is Christ. No, 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 no. Where's that damn warehouse, son of a bitch? Sorry, I thought you were quoting. It's a wonderful directory. Definitely some things that could stand some improvement with this game. One of those things is just why why can't we see when we hover over something in the map, let's see the freaking name. It gives us a couple of names, like if but 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 it doesn't name this shop over here. Like what I'm looking for the damn warehouse. Where the hell is that? Seriously, it saves so much fucking time.
I, I was there a couple of times, but uh, Jesus. This is another thing. Like, so I'm in the map. If I leave this screen back into the game, when I return, return me to the map. Stop returning me to the fucking inventory every time. Okay, where the fuck? And if for whatever reason, it keeps pointing back to him. See, I, I've gotten an option for this mission. The option is I can go snoop around in the warehouse and get some fucking information or proof that uh, Velma's skimming. See? So the quest is actually branching. So I need that branching option. So I should be also getting a nav that points me back to the fucking warehouse. No. Nope. Goddamn quest design one oh fucking one. This is really annoying me. Big fucking time. This is Put, put the fucking thing away. I hear those rich people in Byzantium pay a handsome gift for rat musk. Ah, damn. That they also pay to make it stink less. See, the problem is... How the hell... Is it is this something I can trick her into admitting? Or do I need to find a terminal? I think I need to find a terminal. Yeah, come on in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Right here. Right here. Sure. On my way. Personal files. Hack. Oh, shit, I don't have enough. I could mash random keys. Hang on a second. This is where I'll get the information I need, right here. But unfortunately... Uh, why are you in my face right now? Where, where? Nice going. Thanks. Okay. Save. Wait. Did I just save? I think I did. Let's save again. And uh, now, do that again. Okay. Uh, the fish and tank 23A are looking a little lumpy. If we're not going to make it in, that's fine, but you have to let me know so I can stay on top of the doses, Velma. Whoops. Damn it. Uh, Mr. Nandy Pamby. We really need to talk about the Saltuna situation. I've had to let four batches rot in the warehouse over the last two months because we're not finding buyers. I know the situation with the board puts us in a tough spot, but we need to start thinking about how we're going to keep Stellar Bay afloat if we can get sales up. Brax, seriously, where are you? He's dead. You, you missed three shifts. It's getting ridiculous.
Uh, let's try again. Damn it. Okay, how close am I? It's 55. I can't drive 55. What? I see. Hack is 38. Well, quite a ways away, aren't I? Mm. Unless I happen upon a password somewhere. In a gif. Ladies coming in or what? Hello. Look, I don't... Oh, sorry. <laughs> For a second, I thought you were grim. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Let's talk about Caleb. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Yeah? How about the fact you've been skimming some fucking crads bits off the top? Why can't you give him his pay increase? Caleb says they need a raise to keep up with prices. Tell him to complain to Catherine in Fallbrook, not me. Sublight's demanding more money for the same contracts, which means we're all in the same boat. Uh, they're hard workers, so why can't you just compensate them? Hard workers? Don't be a jerk. They turn dials and flip switches. The machines do all the actual work. I'll wager she don't pay those folks that maintain the mechanicals decent, neither. Caleb and his crew have it better than anyone else around here, I'll tell you that much. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. Okay, well, 
I guess I can just lie about it. Uh, I know you're taking a percentage off the top. What would people say if I told them? <laughs> Same thing as me. Where's your proof? Because I know no one's been poking around my terminal lately. MSI is going to have a hard time getting legitimacy if everyone's so uptight about a little embezzlement. Just as a... hypothetical. Nothing to see on my terminal, of course. Because I've done nothing wrong. Well, I mean, someone's going to notice your shortfalls before long. You're going to be held responsible, say. Maybe so. But I bet you Caleb runs out of bits first. Then he'll have to come back. He says he's got a stash to tide his crew over. Could be he's all talk. But if the money's real, I bet you he keeps it at home. Near the diner. You'd steal wow. from your own people? Wow. That's low, wow. man. That's business. Someone's got to keep the lights on. Well, I mean, can't you just meet him halfway? For running me ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. Yeah, she doesn't sound like the reasoning type. Tall. Fine by me. All right, I just decided any way I can screw you, I'm going to. Oh, that came out wrong. Okay. Any way I can make sure you, you know, don't get what you want that's that's what i'm going to do okay all right Here's what I'm confused by. Uh, hopefully this opens up some more dialogue with Caleb because uh, I, I feel like I'm at a, a bit of an impasse. I might have to come back to this once I've leveled up some more. Cut. Wait a minute. I, I've gotten two navs on there. What's, what's up with that? Oh, the other is... Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's probably a stash one. It's a stash right there. I don't want a stash, okay? Dr. Ellie, you ever wonder if maybe we got some things in common? This isn't another thing about wrenches and guns, is it? Because you're a surgeon and I'm a mechanic. We both fix things, heal them up. Hate to break it to you, but before I got to Groundbreaker, I fixed more noses than bones. Nowadays, I probably shoot more than I save. Oh. But... Or me. With her. Several phrases have been marked off. Right between the eyes, there were three, no, four of them. That rat was this big. Took it down with one shot. Buy me a drink. Ioka's bar talk bingo sheet. <laughs> oh, she. Yo, Caleb. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? Look, man, I need some more help or... You know, I'm 
I'm not going to lie to him. Uh, Velma's threatening to replace you. Uh, we've already covered this. You know what? I'll talk to you later. We'll come back to you and that, that side quest uh, later on, okay? All right. So, next up. Uh... Investigate the Elijah and his gang, I believe, is going to be next. Look for signs of the heights. Uh Gonna be next. Actually, let's go back out of here. Okay, I'll uh, be right back. What's the hurry, right? Because losing everything is like the sun going down on me. Let's go check out Elijah and his gang, huh? You don't much like me, huh, Dr. Ellie? It's nothing personal. I'm just not the touchy-feely type. It's just... I wonder sometimes you seem fine with the others. Involved. Did I do something to make you unhappy with me? I think they're watching the you gotta stop series. taking things so personal. You're setting yourself up for a letdown. You're not listening to a word, are you? Look. My back aches and everything smells like fish. I just want to enjoy my beer. So in case you wonder what the hell we're doing here, this is part of the stainless steel rat side quest. A man's being killed in a stellar bay apartment. It falls to you to figure out what happened. So I'm going to investigate Elijah and his gang. Nell believes Elijah and his friends killed Isaac. They make deliveries to the bays behind the warehouse and spend the rest of their time in the alley behind the yacht club. So, you should be ready for a fight. Uh -huh. I don't think that we'll probably 
Yeah, here we go. Uh huh. They're just standing around. A lot of here. Who the fuck are you? This ain't your alley. Yeah, this ain't your alley either, bitch. Yeah, you must be Elijah. Says so right above your head. Hey, what are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Berta already yeah. pissed by those crates to market. Look, man. I, I ain't having it, you know what I'm saying? I know you murdered Isaac, you murdering fool. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. God damn it, I can't int intimidate yet. Uh, fine, let's just forget this ever happened. No. Wrong answer. Oh. God damn it. Body went down. Okay. Well, another case solved. And the culprits have been charged, tried. Sentenced and executed. Just like real life. I'm the law. <laughs> Little Judge Dread action for you right there. I'm the law. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, repair all equips. Okay. All right. Good. Now, uh, update. Tell Sanjar about Isaac's murder. Sanjar will want to know about Isaac's murder. Now that you've dealt with Elijah, check in with him at MSI. <laughs> okay. Oh, the law. Now, my favorite Dread movie by far is Dread. Uh, I can't remember the dude's name that plays Dread, but it's not Sylvester. To be getting along. The, the Sylvester. Don't, don't make it small. When you say it like that, it sounds stupid. Whoa, take it easy. Didn't realize you were so wrapped up. You're doing it again. So anyway, uh. I, I, I'm actually watching that again. Um, let's see. Is that HBO? It's either HBO or Hulu. And uh, <laughs> I can't even keep track of my own shit, you know? But anyway. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's more it's a comedy really than a, an intense dread. I'll it next to the others, sir. Sci-fi drama, you know. Hey, Sanjar, how you doing, brah? Well, what up? New business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Wow. You sure are talkative. I guess I'll wait till you're done with your meeting then. And a sense of humor too. Did you hear <laughs> that, Celia? 
I heard it, sir. But I'm sure you didn't come here to trade witticisms, hmm? No, you're here for business. I'm just looking for the information broker. Me? I'm charting my own path, going where the wind takes me. Anyway. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. Uh -huh. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. Hey, it could always be both. If I have to eat one more weird science project, passed off as a, as food in this brat fucked colony, I'm going to stab someone. Just tell me how to find the broker so I can get out of here. Pray not. Oh, a shame. I'd been saving a bottle of iceberg aged whiskey for an occasion like this. Anyway. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. Yes, okay, can we get on with the business at hand? Man, he's very wordy. Uh, if you're free of the other corporations, why would you want to bring them back? Sounds like personal, but what exactly are you hoping to accomplish? Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Thanks to the so-called Hazard Clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. Uh -huh. We've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. And you're tired of scrounging and scraping by, is that it? Sounds like you're freer than anyone else in Halcyon. Why not embrace it? Exactly what I would have said. If I'd been paying attention. You talk like Graham. Freedom always sounds nice, doesn't it? It makes a Who's rather pretty slogan. But if you sit down and tally up the costs, how you provide for yourself in the absence of aid, how you protect yourself from a hostile galaxy, it starts uh -huh. to lose its shine. Good lord. So, what do you mean to do about it? Well... Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. But will that help the people here, Mr. Sanjar? Keep them fed and safe? That's precisely what I'm trying to do. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. This lady knows what's going on. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Fine, but how do you mean to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you what? can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, We'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. Bolt 52. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Uh, what is it, exactly? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Never realized fighting the bureaucracy could be this interesting. It is quite the rush. So, where do I find one? In the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had uh -huh. to move our walls in. These days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Oh, goody. Then I guess I'll get your bolt 52. Do be careful. I've lost more than a few people to marauders and raptodons out there. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Oh, I already deleted that. I wonder, yeah, I remember that. I came across this terminal. And I'm like, 
it, it gave me the option to delete all the messages and, or, and I'm like what why why am I be being given that so I was I was like I didn't even realize it was tied to this this uh, quest here anyway I'm just uh, getting way too excited over very little so back to it before I go let me just ask you a what question can I do for you? Uh, uh, I found your review on a terminal in the arms building you weren't supposed to look I asked you to delete it oh sorry it was already open yeah you sent me to it uh but oh yes no doubt someone else was having a laugh at my expense before you this has been my albatross the great mm. shame of my career i give msi everything my work my youth my left kidney and for years i was a joke to them uh-huh uh your left kidney Oh, one of the executives required a transplant. Oh, I see. He's lucky they didn't want a liver or a heart. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. Did it? Apparently not. Good lord. Who cares what they think? You're in charge now. That's what you get for giving so much yeah, anyway. In charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our well, training partners. We'll, we'll, we'll fix them. And you made it work. That's more than anyone can say for these exact for those exacts. Wait, what? That's more than anyone can say for those exacts. I hadn't thought of it that way. Yeah. But perhaps there's something to that. Right. Thank you for that. Or was sure, there something else? Sure. Yeah, there's a dead guy. His name's Isaac. I found him. But that's terrible. What happened? Well, I've taken care of it. The killers are dead. But that means we won't be able to log their testimonies. That's if because it ain't... If there's one thing I've been hoping to reestablish in Stellar Bay, it's proper documentation for legal matters. Oh, man. Sometimes you got to take matters into your own hands. Well, maybe I could have gotten their statements if they hadn't been ready to kill me. Always a shame when tempers get the better of good sense. That's, that's the literal Still, truth. your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Okay. I have questions about MSI in the good old days. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. Well, how did MSI get kicked off the board in the first place? I've asked myself the same thing many times, especially seeing as the legal mechanisms we employed were part of the board's own bylaws. Do you mean that you initiated your own removal from the board? Not intentionally, though that's technically true. For many years, this planet was home to as many corporations as Terra 2, but back then it was known as Terra 1. Wait, what? This this planet was home to as many corporations as Terra 2. Back then it was known as Terra 1. Really? I always thought they were refreshingly straightforward names. After all, the whole point of terraforming was to make them Earth-like. Here, though, the results were mixed. And as the other corporations began to tally their losses, so they decided to pull out. So this was Terra One, Monarch was. Is, is that what we're saying? That seems wise, but not in this eye, right? Our leadership at the time certainly wanted to, but there were others of us who saw an opportunity. The chance to improve working hours and conditions, to reform MSI from the ground up. Because I assumed the Terra One was actually the gigantic planet with the ring around it. Uh, because Terra Two is a small planet with a ring around it. It looks like a mini me sort of uh, duplicate of uh, that larger planet. Anyway, I'm rambling now. 
reforms or are for quitters. Wait, what did he say? But there were others of us who saw an opportunity, the chance to improve working hours and conditions to reform MSI from the ground up. It's humane, but it's also good business sense. Exhausted, sick, and malnourished workers are not productive workers. Even a cursory review of the data bears that out. I hope you'd treat them nice, whether it was good business or not, Mr. Sanjar. That's what being a community means. Treating people right, because it's the right thing to do. Like that's what you saw in Edgewater? Come on, people look out for themselves. <laughs> a noble thought, Miss Holcomb. Unfortunately, noble thoughts rarely sway board policy. Anyway, we learned of a loophole in the corporate bylaws that would allow MSI to claim ownership of the entire planet once the other corporations pulled out, creating the perfect environment for us to enact these new reforms. I think your leadership didn't embrace your ideas. No, they laughed in our faces and insisted we'd be relocating to Terra 2 along with everyone else. Yet, here you are. Yes, some of us stayed behind, and as the most senior executive remaining, I ended up in charge of what was left of MSI. Must have pissed off some real big suits to get stuck with that. On the contrary, I wrote lots of very important reports on behalf of top MSI officials before I was able to achieve this position. I moved forward with our planned reforms, as well as our strategy to assume ownership of the planet. Yet not long after I renamed it Monarch, the other corporations dislodged us from the board and began an official campaign to paint us as lawless savages. But why would they do that? I don't know. Everything we did was legal and above board. We followed their rules, and yet they still found reasons to declare us outlaws. I do think there's something useful in a governing body like the board. Something that keeps us from anarchy, but I dearly wish it functioned differently. So what's this thar, uh, hazard clause? It's a legal provision out? that gives the board the authority to cordon off any planet or location that it deems dangerous. But wait, what happens to the folks stuck on the wrong side of Dangerous? Well, I'm afraid the welfare of a few hundred people is too minor a figure into the board's risk assessments. And they've invoked it on Monarch? Yes, making all of MSI criminals in the board's eyes. Rather hard to run a business that way. So, okay, you don't, you don't seem to think much of, uh, why, why exactly do you want back on the board? Why wouldn't anyone? They own nearly all the resources and infrastructure in Halcyon. If you can't beat them, might as well join them and reach into their pockets. To be on the uh. board is to be part of the colonial community, and being cut off means slow strangulation. Uh-huh. Well, uh, they've treated you pretty roughly. Is it worth going back? I'm not a man to put pride before progress. If membership on the board can ease our hardships and provide us with opportunities, then that's the path I mean to pursue. Besides, I'm hopeful that additional leverage on our part will allow us a more equitable relationship. Uh huh. Uh, what would that be? Don't get ahead of yourself, sir. Yes, yes, it'll be easier to explain once we have the Bolt 52. My hope is to maintain the reforms we've managed here, and who knows? So basically... Perhaps once we're restored, we could <laughs> spread them to other corporations. Basically, he wants to stage a coup. That that's what that's what I'm getting. Uh, that's that's the gist. Exactly. Do you okay? Uh, you don't think much of Graham, do you? He and his followers call themselves the Iconoclasts. 
Lawless anarchists, all of them. If anyone on Monarch deserves the reputation the board's pinned on us, it's them. You got strong feelings on the matter. Maybe you should give them a chance. A chance? They've been doing this for years. And I, well, let's just say I know enough about Graham to be confident that he won't change. It isn't just that they drain our people and resources. Every radical act they commit cements Halcyon's image of us all as destructive rebels and pushes us further from the rest of the colony. He's lucky the board doesn't take him seriously enough to keep more than a few UDL gunships patrolling Monarch. An Earth Directorate assault cruiser would change his tune. It's almost a shame we haven't seen one around Monarch in a long while. Wow. So, uh... Okay, I want to talk what can about I do something for you? else. Is there anything else to talk about? Uh, no. Gotta go. So, uh, and welcome you to Monarch later, Stellar Industries, Celia? producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna in Halcyon. What can I do for you today? I have some room on my ship. You know, I have my own ship. What's the exchange about? Uh, you have money trouble? Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix the thing his own self and busted it even worse and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough so he's docking your wages again? <laughs> not that I got any prior experience with such. Hey, not yeah, at all. Right. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on Raptid on acid. Uh -huh. Do you normally blow your money on Raptid on parts? Uh, dumb. Uh, it must be expensive. 20 bottles worth adds up, that's for sure. You'd think Sebastian would give me a discount as much as I buy from him. Uh, he should give you free bags, at least. Oh, I don't mind. I usually buy things one at a time. Gives me more chances to talk to him. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. Oh. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Yeah, wrapped it on guts, basically, is what we're talking about. Yeah, it's kind of smelly. Just, uh, maybe I can talk to him for... What? 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 What is it with the devs making the, the player character a matchmaker? No, 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 no. I, 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 want, I want to go out with her. I want my character to go out with her, but no. Just ask him on a date. Maybe I can talk to him for you. <laughs> I couldn't. What if he says no? Hey, maybe you could ask him for me. Oh my I, I God. mean, a no would still be bad, but it won't be quite as embarrassing if you ask. Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Wait, I'm curious. What, what do you see in Sebastian? Seriously. He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Is he dead? Kind of like you. Actually, oh. plus he's got great legs. It's kinda, hard to find a man like who me. doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Hey, good to have standards, like I guess. I know what I'm looking for. There. Wait, uh, you really want to be with someone you can't talk to? There are other fish in the sea. Not in Stellar Bay. Everyone else who isn't taken either smells like salt tuna or they're my boss. Besides, a man with a good smile and a proportionate upper to lower body ratio isn't something to pass up. So you really want to be with someone that you can't talk you to? You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. Thanks. Okay, well, that's all I need to know. Sorry. Sometimes I get carried away. Later. Huh. Interesting. Don't 
Ain't got nothing to sell. Ain't all that to sell. see these boys we're not the best equipped but scouting for rafts keeps us on our toes Okay, what in the hell am I doing now? Bolt with his name. Take the bolt, 52. Or look for Tucker. Or convince Caleb to return to work, which I'm not doing. I'm going to do the opposite. Because medicine, not ready to do that yet. But then again, anywho, uh, yeah. Hold off on that. I guess. Although, I might regret it. Because I'm thinking, I have to, eventually I'll have to go out anyway. Like, uh, there, there's a, there's a quest here. And I think there's one down here as well. Uh, and between here and there will be a lot of critters like uh, manta queens and raptodons, etc. So, a lot of fighting down there. You know? Let me just make sure that's what I want. Hey, where's that? Down there. Okay. Thinking that's. Thinking that's my next stop. Where's that? Oh. That's interesting. I can pick it up. I just don't have to turn it in yet. But uh, it's interesting. It's that close. It's in the ruins. Which he probably said, but I, I just wasn't paying enough attention. It's disgusting looking right there. Forced worst. That's the sister pig, by the way. That's sis all over it. You know. Appropriately named. Or aptly named. There we are sitting through one of these loading screens again. Love that shit. <clears throat> okay, all right. So, yeah, that's where I'm heading, right over there. Arms key. Storage. Wait a minute. That might be the key I need to get that person out. Whew. I don't know. It smells like those old Sundays when we'd unload salt tuna shipments at the cannon. Am I the only one getting hungry?
You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna send you Something back, you okay, girl? All right, girl. Get on back sure to the thing, ship. Sure thing, Captain. I'll be waiting back at the Unreliable if you need me. All right. We'll see you. All right now. <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> Oh, and I might be assuming incorrectly. Uh, can I? Oh, shit. Um, you know, <clears throat> may, I may have done fucked up right there. Well, that was just downright stupid of me, wasn't it? Just to send Parvada back there. And, uh, now, I wonder if I got my uh, one of them there uh, quick save. Uh, yeah, loads right there. Uh, leaving a. Uh, there. Yeah, we're just going to have to load that right back in because I'm going to need me some Parvada, you know, uh, to get on up there and, uh, you know, it's going to help me fight. But I'll need me a couple, but, you know, I thought there was a way we could actually call another companion uh, to us uh, <clears throat> in the menus there, but apparently not. Now, that's something I would definitely uh, request, you know. I don't understand what we're doing. Unless we do, and I just haven't seen it yet, how to do it. But, you know, damn, I love these loading screens, don't you? I mean, we get plenty of them, that's for damn sure. And they do take some time. Gives us some chance to ramble. Gives us a good chance uh, to ramble on. And, and uh, what in the hell? Okay, so guess what? Remember what I said about the loading screens? Uh, yeah. It's not a... It's not a, a quick save, uh, or or auto save, I should say. Uh, after we've left the town, no, it, it's one just before we hit that fucking gate, and uh, now uh, we gotta sit through that dark. You know, this is one of those lotus streets. I ain't heard it so I so much love uh, and enjoy, uh, cause you know you know just can't can't get enough of them. <clears throat> Really can't. Okay. Uh, seriously, I thought I thought we could, you know, swap out. You know, swap swap out there, 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 there. I mean, one thing I could do is fast travel back to the ship. And uh, that means, you know, uh, at least two or three more loading screens. And, you know, that's always, that, that always makes the trip worthwhile, you know. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Now, see, here's another thing. Why am I not getting the option to fast travel on board the unreliable like like we could when we were on uh <clears throat> when we were over at uh, the edgewater landing bay and uh, also at groundbreaker i can fast travel directly on board i can't do that here it appears it's weird. Ah, shit. You yeah, know, screw it. Let's just go. Huh. Ooh. It's 
smells like those old Sundays when we'd unload salt tuna shipments at the can. Am I the only one getting hungry? That is beautiful. Feels like the old bits outside of Edgewater. Used up, unneeded, left to settle into ruin. Think they left anything good behind? You know what? This is the key I needed. Somehow I missed that body. I never... Why is it still pointing here? Anyway. Uh, I missed the body. No, no. So therefore... Oh, shit. That's good. Good shit, Tom. Huh? I forgot what the hell I was doing. Y'all gonna die now. Get it up, get it up. You Save on ammo that way. But yeah, that's where the damn K was this whole damn time. I was searching all over. I was killing raptors and searching their body. I thought, okay, well, they probably fucking swallowed one, you know? And, uh, or it, whatever. And, you know, son of a bitch, you know? And, uh, whatnot. I was like, well, that's kind of strange that uh, she's in here and there wouldn't have been no, no quest trigger, right? Hello, well, man. The door's still locked. Just making you aware. Don't look yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. I think I found oh, it. Much yeah. obliged. Yeah, just... Hey. Oh, phew. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting uh -huh. quite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was going to die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Yes, yes, yes. So it's tied, as I was saying, uh, to uh, to Sanjar. Uh, you sure you're okay to travel? Normally, when you help someone, they give you something for the Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... <laughs> hey, who's your identical, slightly blurry friend? No, uh, good luck. Yeah, good luck. Thanks a lot, mister. 
Sure. Always happy to help. I mean, that's what that's what this game's all about. Helping people, playing Cupid, matchmaking, you know. That's why I play. Okay, y'all may have detected just a slight bit, slight hint of sarcasm. Uh, right chair but I assure you uh, I was being sincere This might be a good time to go ahead and head back to Stellar Bay. Speak with Nyoga or Nyoga, Nyoga, and uh, Nyoka. I'm sorry, Nyoka, uh, and uh, you know. Well, actually, I need to get her passion pills first, so-called. Passion pills. Yeah. <clears throat> I think she's going to join the, the, the crew then. At some point. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know. Could be wrong. It's going to be our guide. I know that. So, there's that. And there's this right there. And, uh. Let's do this first. Okay? Alright. You're a tough one, aren't you? Everyone, all right? Over here. No, man, I'm doing this shit. Stop hitting me with that. On my I way. already fucking uh, agreed to that shit one time, so just, just stop. The fucking flaw bullshit. Fucking assholes. Reminds me of the crew cabin on one of my first ships. You reckon the smell ever goes away? Maybe the wind off the sea helps.
you know, we noticed you were taking some damage from a, a, a elemental or a, a, a <coughs> environmental, I, I, I should say, effect there. Uh, uh, it, it, that's a flaw. You get a perk, but you'll have to take more damage from that dar environmental. Is that okay with you? Fuck off. Do you accept or reject? I reject. To me, it's it's just slightly above stupid and probably right at a waste of time. Okay? All right. Where the hell's the nav at? There it is. Hello again, dearie. What Hello, Abigail. Say, Abigail, I'd sure like some of that our caffeinoid supplement, if you don't mind. And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Whiskey helps, too. Please leave medical advice to the professionals. Now, dearie, who's this pickup for? It's it's for me. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Our reserves oh, have gotten sorry, so low. Bitch. I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? Can't trust people these days. Except for you. I can tell. You've got one of those faces. I'd make you an exception for a you dopey if I face? could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? <sighs> now, now, there's no keeping secrets from Auntie Abigail. I'll tease it out of you one way or another. Also, I really do have to enter someone's name for the allotment. After all, I have to keep track of where our little pills wander off to. <laughs> I can't do shit, man. Goddamn persuasion is not up high enough. Fucking intimidate's not high enough. My lock picking's not high enough. Nothing's fucking high enough to progress in this goddamn town. Rather nosy, now, now, aren't you? Dearie, it is my job, after all. If I'm if I'm buying the caffeinoid from you, what the fuck does it matter who's who it's for? Fuck it, I'll just go upstairs and take it. 